Hello friends and welcome back. We have a new story today and it is called Pearl's New Skates. I'm so excited to read this to you all. It was written and illustrated by Holly Keller. I'm teacher Caroline and I'm from Options for Learning Full Day Preschool. So welcome back friends. So I'm so excited to read you this story. So let's open it up and let's see what happens in the story of Pearl's new skates. Once on her birthday, Pearl got a new pair of ice skates. They were white leather with shiny blades and red tassels. Pearl loved them. So here, friends, those are the red tassels that are on her skates. Yes, friends, you're right. There are a lot of colors. They're like a lot of balloons with different colors because it was her birthday. They're real ones, Pearl told Grandma on the phone. Not double runners. And Grandma made Pearl a red ice skating skirt. Wow. See, friends, she has a ice skating skirt. Look at her. Pearl imagined herself gliding backward and forward like a ballerina on ice. She practiced her twirling on her toes and jumping in the air. And she waited and waited for the weather to be cold enough to freeze the skating pond. Skating today, the sign says, friends, look at that. See, they're skating. It says, finally, one day it was. Mama helped Pearl put on her skates. Thistle skated over to say hello. So this is Thistle, friends. This is her. This is Pearl's friend, Thistle. Come and skate with me, she said. But Thistle only had double runners and Pearl didn't want to skate with her. So she had double runners, friends. She had different skates than Pearl. Pearl's Uncle Jack was skating on the pond. I see you have new skates, Pearl, he said. Would you like me to give you a hand? No, thank you, said Pearl. I don't need any help. Pearl stepped onto the ice. It was hard to keep her ankles from wobbling. Here I go, she said. But instead of going forward, Pearl lost her balance. She swayed back and forth. Her arms went around like pinwheels. Her bottom hit the ice with a thump. Each time she tried to stand up, her feet slid out from under her. Oh, friend, she fell. Pearl took off her skates. I'm ready to go home, she said. You don't have to be a ballerina on ice right away, said Mama. But Pearl was not listening. She was ready to go, friends. The next day, Pearl didn't want to go onto the pond at all. She sat in front of the window and watched Thistle and all her other friends pass by with their ice skates. She tried to read the new library book, but she didn't like it, and she didn't feel like drawing. At the end of the afternoon, Jack, Uncle Jack stopped in to say hello. You didn't come to the pond today, Pearl, he said. Didn't you like skating? Not much, said Pearl. I like to skate early in the morning, Uncle Jack said. Before anybody else is there, you might like it then too. Pearl said she didn't think she would. Hmm. Let's see what happens, friends. But in the morning, Uncle Jack stopped by. Just to be sure, Pearl hadn't changed her mind. And Pearl decided to go with him, friends. How exciting. I might not stay very long, she said. Mama gave her a thermos of hot cocoa she shared with Uncle Jack. Hmm. It was a crisp, bright morning. The air was cold, but the sun was shining, and there was a little bit of mist rising from the ice. Nobody else was there. Uncle Jack laced up pearl skates. He took her hands and pulled her out to the center of the pond. He moved away, and Pearl tried to skate toward him. When Pearl slipped, Uncle Jack pulled her back up. She tried to move, but she fell again. I'm getting cold, Pearl said, and I'm hungry and thirsty and tired. So she laid down here, friends. Uncle Jack skated over to pick her up. One more time, he said. I can't do it, Pearl grumbled. Uncle Jack skated behind Pearl. Look straight ahead, he said, and then he gave her a little push and let her go. Suddenly, Pearl was going forward by herself. Look at that, friend. She's going without any help. 
Oh, Pearl called as she felt the wind rush past her ears. I can, I can. Look at her friend, she's going, she's got it now. Pearl and Uncle Jack sat on the bench and drank their hot chocolate. You're going to be a good skater, said Uncle Jack. When Pearl got home, she put on her red skating skirt. See, friends, she put it back on again. She twirled on her toes and jumped in the air. Ooh, then she called Thistle. There's Thistle, friends. Remember, that's Pearl's friend, Thistle. And the next day, they spent the whole afternoon skating together. Aww. Dun, 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 dun. The end. Okay, friends, I hope you enjoyed the story of Pearl's new skates. So no matter what you do, friends, don't give up. Just keep practicing and you'll get it, okay? So I hope you enjoyed the story and I'll see you on the next one, okay? Next one, okay? Take care. Bye-bye.